Hello, Cloudy Mashers, and welcome back to the channel. It finally happened, my journal ran out of pages, which means that it's time to set up a new journal for 2021. So welcome to my Plan With Me video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you're new here, my name is Masha, and I'm creating videos on bullet journaling, doodling, creativity, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. Let's get planning. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the supplies. I am moving to a new journal. This is a rainbow white journal from Archer and Olive. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it's going to be my next journal. I'm also using my Zebra Mind liners. Of course, my Pilot Dr. Grip pencil and eraser by Sakura. And finally, my two fine liners, which is Sakura Pigma Micron and Fiber Castell Pit Artist Pen. Let's get to it. So I started from creating a key page and honestly, I don't need a key. By now, I already know all the signifiers, but somehow I still keep creating it simply just to occupy the space, I guess. I felt like that space with a name is gonna look so empty if I just add a name there. So I decided instead to also add a key and of course, I cannot do anything without a grid. So I just took a piece of paper from my Archer and Olive notepad and used that to create a key, which later I will stuck on the page. Now, I usually have all my yearly pages pretty neutral, just black and white. But this time I decided to make them a little bit more interesting. So I thought, hey, I could use like gray and black and just play around with different shapes. And then I realized that I don't really use these colors in my bullet journal. I use a lot of zebra my liners. So I am decided to kind of give it a go and go for a very colorful yearly setup. I'm not sure how to react on it yet because it's very new to me and it's kind of still weird. But the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. Especially the fact that these bright colors go so well with the washi tape I have. And with a new journal, I really want to try to do a lot of new things. Like, for example, setting up my pages in color. And so using washi is one of the other new things I'm going to try to add more. And well, let's see how that goes. So here the page on the right is actually going to be my cover page. So I decided to use the left space to write my word of the year. Um, it's kind of a very interesting practice that helps you to set your, to get into a correct mindset for the upcoming year. And if you want to know more about that, I do have a blog post explaining everything and giving you tons of ideas for your word of the year. So be sure to check it in the description. But my word for 2021 is persist. It's gonna be a difficult year. There is a lot of things I will have to do, but I know that it will take me closer to my goal. So I will persist disregarding the difficulties I most likely will face.
So for the cover, I decided to go pretty simple. So I just added the numbers for the year because this notebook is for 2021, even though I started in December 2020. And then I went crazy with the color again. And the rest of the page is just going to be full with different shapes and colors. And honestly, I really like the way it turned out especially on how these black numbers stand out um, compared to all the colors I have on the background. I don't know, I feel like it looks pretty fun and positive and don't we all need some extra positivity with this crazy year? I must apologize if you guys sometimes hear a dog barking. I'm always trying to edit it out, but I'm not that good at audio editing yet and um, our neighbor's dog is just super barky. The next page is a future log and if you have been following me for a while you probably know that I always use kind of the same format for my future log. But with a new year, a new journal and it's actually an Archer Knowledge journal and it's the first time I'm using Archer Knowledge journal for my day-to-day -day planning, I thought, hey, let's change things up a little bit. Let's make it a bit different this year. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to create a year at a glance on the left side. As you can see, I have all the 12 months. And then on the right side, I will just write the name of the month and leave the space to write down whatever events or deadlines I have. I'm not sure if it's going to work very well, but we shall see. I just really felt like I want to do something different. The only thing I'm probably going to do is that in my year at a glance spread, I probably am going to mark with different colors the dates that something happens so that when I look there, I know that something happens and then I need to just look at the right to see what exactly it is. I felt like it's incredibly satisfying to look at the year at a glance spread. Honestly, I hated setting it up because writing all these numbers is just so annoying and making sure that everything is in the right order and the right date and the right day is just a pain. But it's so satisfying to look at it when you're done. Let me know in the comments if you kind of agree with me. And yes, as you can see, I kind of went for um, bubble letters in most of the pages. Okay, now we're up to the next page and this is a grid guide. So I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it's really a huge time saver. Basically, this is your cheat sheet on how to divide your bullet journal page into different sections. So when you create your weekly next time, you can just look back at this page and you know already how many squares to count to divide your page. This really saves so much time because probably that's the part that took the longest for me when I was setting up my weeklies just to make sure that I calculated everything correctly and everything is divided properly 
so much so that at some point I just stopped calculating. I just did it on I um, or whatever is the English idiom for that. Um, and I must be honest with you, sometimes it did not look that good, did not look good at all. But now I have this cheat sheet and I'm sure it will help me a lot. I know that there is also a stencil that can do it. But unfortunately, at the moment, I can't get the stencil, so I'm getting the second best thing. Right next to it is a page with my favorite things. Now, the thing is, this year was difficult for all of us. And for me personally, I know that next year is also not going to be easy. So I decided to create this page to kind of remind myself of all the good things. So it has section for my favorite food my favorite meals, my favorite music, my favorite podcasts. It's a basically a cheer me up spread. So next time I'm feeling down or tired and I need a break, I can always just flip back to this page, remember what are some things that make me happy, that bring me joy, and well, basically just do those things. It's as easy as that. course there is no yearly setup without a goal spread and honestly setting up this journal took such a long time that I feel like with some pages I went with a very very basic design so for my goals I divided them into four parts it's gonna be health master plans personal development and well a secret section called dream which I will not be talking more about yet. But, um, well, these are basically the main areas which I want to cover this year and which I want to invest my time and effort into. So, yeah, I just created four sections and in each of them, I'm simply going to write what is it I want to achieve by the end of the year. And... The thing you have to understand when you set your goals that you really have to be flexible. A lot of things happen during the year. I mean, 2020 had COVID and it ruined everything. So you have to be flexible with your goals. And it's totally fine if you don't achieve some of them. It's totally fine if they change during the year because life changes, the world changes, your circumstances change. So just when you set your goals be sure that it's not something you definitely have to achieve it's more like a direction in which you want to follow but be sure you check back during the year to see if these goals are still what you want if these goals are still achievable or 
if it's something that you probably have to move to next year. Okay, next spread is my intentions. And this is more about my personal development and kind of me as a person. I have had a huge change in fall 2019. I left my full-time job, I left the comfort of my life in China and came to a whole new country and started doing martial plans full-time and it really was not easy. So the whole year I was just working so hard, well, to not just not go crazy with the COVID, but also to make sure that I build a good life. And I understand that in many ways, it made me forget about myself. So I'm creating this spread to remind myself to work on me and to make sure that I am the best person I can be. Okay, so next spread is an about me page. Now, you probably saw it in my previous bullet journal setup. And it's a thing that I just love doing in my last journal, so I'm keeping it this time as well. The point is that I am creating this about me page with little facts of my everyday life and my achievements of the way I am right now in December 2020. Well, technically it's November, but who counts? And on the right side, I will create another about me page which will be about me when I am done with this journal. It's kind of a fun way to see where you are at life, how far you went, how far you changed. This is kind of the moment when I start missing my Nuna, which had larger pages, because if you look at my previous About Me page, I have much more doodles and colors there. And here I was just so concentrated on writing the content that I had in mind that I just left no space for doodles. But, well, in the end, it's not about looking pretty. It's about me checking on myself and my development. So if it's just text, then let it be just text. This page is yet another page I moved from my last journal and this is a photo a month. So I don't take that many photos anymore, probably also because there aren't that many things happening, but um, I still like this. I like taking photos, I like printing them and the pages with pictures are some of my favorite bullet journal pages because they tell a story they help me see my life and remember some awesome moments. So I just had to keep this spread for this year as well. I'm just gonna stick randomly the photos I take. Um, I didn't wanna create any frames because I never know whether it's gonna be a vertical or a horizontal picture. So what I'm going to do is just add the pictures as they go and then at the bottom I'll just create a black rectangle and write the month. Thankfully my Archer and Olive notebook has paper good enough to handle such a thing.
Okay, so this year is also the first time I'm going to be trying some financial spreads in my bullet journal. And the first one is my income spread. I have a lot of different income sources and it's not that easy to track it all. I do it digitally, but I am a pen and a paper person. So I want to try to do it in my bullet journal as well. And the next financial page I'm using is my savings. Now, the thing is, I need to take time to calculate how much I need to be saving for my goals. And also, this is the first time I'm creating a savings tracker in my journal. So I'm not really sure yet what exactly I need from it. So I just went super simple, just write the month, and then I'm going to write how much money I saved. I was not sure if I wanted to write anything there because on the right side, it's already a sketched December cover page, but I felt like after all the hours and hours of creating this setup, I got more inspiration. So I decided to go with a little quote and the quote is never stop dreaming. So I know 2021 is not going to be easy, but it will be a year when I do something that brings me closer to my dreams. And I thought this quote encompasses perfectly what I want from the year. I'm not going to stop dreaming. I'm going to persist and it's all going to come true. So I hope you guys like this setup. My December plan with me is coming up shortly and I'm really excited to share that with you as well. And be sure to check out the blog post in the description for more detailed pictures of each page. I will see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye.